This is Wednesday, the third week of Easter. Let's begin with prayer. Heavenly Father, give us an ability to see your hand at work in the world about us. Give us an energy that lifts us out of the place that seems dark right now. Give us the ability to see your sun rise and then follow the Son of God. Be with us now, Lord, as we live and not just survive. In the name of your Son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. The Gospel for today comes to us from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to the people, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I'll raise him up at the last day. You know, I really believe that God comes to us in instances. He just comes to us all the time, and yet most of the time we have our minds in other places, our hearts set on other things, and, and that we miss God in the moments that he's there. You know, Jesus says he is the bread of life. Why does he say that? Well, that's because the people that he was dealing with most in those days, when he was talking to them, they were interested in simply getting what they needed to get through the day. They wanted to make sure they had food in their stomach and shelter over their heads. In fact, it even says very clearly that when Jesus feeds the 5,000, and then goes off afterwards to sort of recoup, to be with his father. And then all of a sudden, when he shows up in another section of the land that the people follow him, he looks at him and he says, you aren't here because of the things that I do. <laughs> You're here <laughs> because basically you got your bellies filled. What's your relationship with God? Let me just ask you that point blank. What is your relationship with God? Is your relationship with God one where you look for just your needs met? Or is your relationship with God to do the will of God? Jesus is very clear here today that he wants to do the will of God. And the will of God is that he should lose no one who his father's given to him. And those who father, the father has given to him is that they believe in him. And so the will of God in Jesus' life is that he gets the people that are supposed to believe in him to believe in him. If you're listening to this sermon right now, then you're one of those people. I mean, stop and think. You're called to believe in the Son of God. Otherwise, why are you bothering us? I mean, are you just flipping here? I mean, let's put it online here. Uh, you know, is this one of those videos or a recording that you're just sitting there saying, well, I'll listen until I get bored and then I'm going to just keep moving on? I mean, I think, you know, the attention span of a human being lately is maybe 35 seconds. I don't know. Maybe it's longer. So to me, I want to keep you off your feet. I want you to make sure that you're not sitting there saying to yourself, well, uh, I already know how this is going to end, so I'm done with this. Because you don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. Quite frankly, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. But I do know this. I know that the will of the Father is for us to believe in Jesus Christ. So how do we do that? How do we believe in Jesus Christ? Take a moment. Take an inventory of your own life. How much have you really set the items of your life in the last 48 hours? The items of your life, put them in connection with your belief in Jesus Christ. 
I can tell you how you did it. How much time have you spent worrying in the last 48 hours? And what have you worried about? Have you worried about your kids? Have you worried about the economy? Have you worried about your 401k? Have you worried about when's this going to be over? Or how much boredom have you had in the last 48 hours? Where I just want to go back to the way it was. I don't like this. Boredom usually leads into irritation, by the way. So how much irritation have you had in the last 48 hours? Those are all ways that you are moving away from believing in Jesus Christ. But believing in Jesus Christ, which is the Father's will, and if you're looking at me right now or listening to me right now, then somehow the Father has gotten your attention, hopefully, and I hopefully am a good instrument for you to where you hear the Spirit in some way, despite me. I want you to believe it. You know, when you believe, everything changes. The way you look at people around you, the way you operate with other people, the way you take on things, the way you hold on to your self that is healthy and good in the spirit world. I'm not going to let you off the hook today. And I'm not going to give you the full answer. You already know the full answer. The full answer is to be aware of God in your constant contact. That's in case you needed to be reminded. But I want you to take an inventory of your day. Last 48 hours and the next 48 hours. Have you integrated your belief in Jesus Christ, your walk with the living God, your relationship with the Son of God? Have you integrated that into all the little parts of your regular day? The little parts. I'm not talking about the big stuff. You usually do that all the time because to be real honest with you, if you're like me, you have no other choice. But how much have you spent saying, God, just lead me to the next right thing? And in the process, how many times have you said, God, I hate it when you keep me on a need-to-know basis. But when you are on a need-to-know basis, you're attentive to the living God. Because then you're looking for the next right thing. As you go about your day today, God goes with you. As you go about your day today, God will give you the energy to overcome any darkness. As you go about your day today, the good news is God's with you. And I'll tell you this, I believe God. I believe God through Jesus Christ wants us to take the risk of making mistakes over trying to just get it right. Wants us to go the extra mile rather than keep ourselves safe. God wants us to be wise, yes. So wear your gloves and wear your mask and stay six feet away. But know this, don't be afraid. He says that more than anything else. But rather, believe. It's the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.